I'm here with Stephanie Castanier, who is a founder of Cause. Is it Child Cause. Child Cause. And what do you do with Child Cause? What is that about? Child Cause is an organization that provides a peer network to teens affected by AIDS and drug abuse in the U.S. So I hear you have a very interesting story. Can you tell us more about your life and yes. how you came to become who you are? Yes. Well, I have been in corporate America for 10 years, and I woke up one day thinking to myself that I felt as though I wasn't doing enough in my community. And my father was one of the biggest drug dealers in North America, so I always had a crazy life growing up. A uh, little scar face ish And um, I was around this insane lifestyle, and my father contracted HIV and gave it to my mother, and both my parents died of AIDS. So when I was 16, I was homeless, and I ended up you know, hitting rock bottom, as they say, and I thought about what I wanted to do with my life, which was basically nothing, and I realized that I had nothing to lose, so I thought, let me give it a shot, and here I am today, and this is why today I wanted to give back, and I started Child Cause. Well, at, at, more, at 16 years old, most people kind of give up because it's too hard to deal with life. Both your parents are gone. You're by yourself. There's nothing. You, you don't have anything. What drove you? What drove you? Uh, that's the question everyone asks, and I don't know if there was one thing that really drove me. It was almost like a wake-up call or, or an epiphany that just hit me, and I realized I had nothing to lose. So when you have nothing to lose, you just go for it. And, and, now, I, and now your foundation helps kids that yeah. have AIDS or... Well, we, what we do is we provide a peer support for them, like a Big Brothers Big Sisters, and we provide them with positive inspiration through sports and the arts to get them inspired and feel as though they're not alone, because I know how they feel. I was there. And we want them to be creative and inspired through music and the arts and stay away from drugs and get off the street. So what's a website that they can go see for the more information or for more help? The website is www.childcause.com. The gentleman next to me is Justin Jacobson, who is the CEO of Platinum Events. So what made you bring this event together? Well, basically, I love causes, charities, whatever we can do. And um, to help kids with uh, AIDS that have been affected with AIDS or drug and alcohol abuse, to us, it's more than a pleasure to help out children with any kind of cause or, or charities with any kind of cause that will help people along the way. So what is Platinum Events? What do they do besides put on great events? Well, thank you so much, first of all. Uh, Platinum Events, we are actually one of Chicago's only multifaceted event entertainment firms. Uh, we're an experiential agency for marketing an event, for producing event, production, graphic design, anything and everything you ever need for an event, as you know, we're able to provide. And there you go. Now, if someone wanted to find more information about Platinum Events, where would they go? What would they do? Absolutely, without question. You can always check us on the web at www.enjoyplatinum.com or you can always give us a call at 847-291-8400. Trina Hayes is next to me. and She's the author of two books, one called Just Love Her and the other one's called Attracted to Addicts. What compelled you to write books? I'd always wanted to be an author growing up and then never thinking that I would be in the world of addiction How, because I grew up in a family that my grandmother was an alcoholic, my uncle was known as the town drunk, and only when my daughter at 13, 14 years of age turned to drugs and ended up on the streets that I felt compelled to write the story and to share with others the pain that a parent goes through when it's the greatest sacrifice, it's the greatest way that you have to let go is when you let go of your child to drug addiction. To see your child go through this thing where the drug is her whole world, how did that break you? It broke me in every way, shape and form possible. It's, it's even hard to describe and discuss it. This was my little girl who, she was my baby, she was raised on my hips, we were so close, she was the most amazing child on earth. And she turned into someone that I didn't know, she turned into someone that I didn't recognize. And she probably said it best. She said, Mom, you know, it's like a monster takes over your life. And she said, Mom, I would rob you and then I would come back and steal the eyes of your head. That's the vastness of addiction. And for a parent, I just can't explain any greater pain that it, for a parent to go through than to see a child in the throes of addiction. Now, ultimately, what do you want to reach out there? What do you want to tell the people out there with your books and, and what you're going to do next? What I see happening in America is that we are normalizing addiction. It's so, turn on the TV, turn on Facebook, go, it doesn't matter where you turn, it's like every day celebrities are dying of addiction, every day there's people dying all over the world of addiction, and one of the most prevalent things right now is prescription drug abuse. Like 70% of the people that are dying is of overdose of prescription drugs, of course prescribed by a doctor. 
And what I want to say is if we don't stop and take a stand right now and say this is not right, it's not cool, it's not acceptable for someone to say, oh, well, everyone's an addict. No, not everyone's an addict. We need to take back, we need to be healthy, we need to learn to love ourselves. How would they find out more about Tina Hayes? I'm on Facebook under Trina Hayes, and I'm in the midst of rebuilding my website with my new book just being released in June, and it's www.trinahayes, T-R-I-N-A-H-A-Y-E-S.com. And it's a great thing that you're doing. So find out more about Trina Hayes and the movement that she's trying to create and that, that she's going to create evidently with her book. So again, that's trinahayes.com. Thank you so much.